the whole thing was placement of cameras and so forth and to make them feel at ease. Beyond that, except for the dramatic shows, uh, which I didn't do till later, uh, that was the important thing, making it look good. And in terms of the, the people within the booth, uh, you were in charge of making sure everyone did oh, each aspect of the, the yeah, job? Yeah, in other words, yes. Um, a good example of <clears throat> what you're suggesting, of course, is that, of course, that remember, you were talking about the early days of television where the equipment would break down there, needless to say. Um, one show I remember specifically, and now we'll jump a little ahead. Well, no, it was Rocky King Detective, as a matter of fact. I'd set it up, and in this particular show, I'd put one camera on a ped, uh, a, a motion picture camera ped, which I didn't normally use because I wanted the fluidity. You could do more with it. It's a little more, it was the closest thing you had to a steady cam in those days, but it, it, up and down and sideways and so on and so forth. But uh, what happened was, and the control room in those days, whereas today everything is compartmentalized, the audio man's off by himself, the video people are off by themselves, and so on and so forth, in those days everything was right in one spot. I remember sitting at the booth with the, in the booth at the, with the TD on my left and my video people on the right and so forth and the monitors in front of me. And about five minutes into the show, we lost a camera. Now, when that happened, <clears throat> I remind you that everything was live. First of all, the video men were up <clears throat> on the counter in front of me trying to find out what the problem was to fix it and I'm looking between their legs and so on and so forth and what had happened and you worked your TD had a marked script with you that fortunately on a show like this if it was a wing show you could do it easily but this was a rehearsed show so what happened was the TD had a, a, a marked script and what he did, he cut cameras, whereas I normally I would snap and call cameras, he would take them for me while I determined where I would have to change a shot and release a camera to get to there. And to make a long story short, that camera never came back for that whole half hour show. And my cameraman up on the boom, who was terrific, came in, he was ringing wet because he really busted his hump. But these camera people were dedicated, and they would do anything to make it work in the days of live. But uh, those kind of things happen all the time because it was new, you know, and you made the adjustment. And you, and in answer to your question, yes, you were in charge of everything, but everybody knew what they were doing. 